So now we're going to look at a problem where we actually have to solve using the quadratic formula, but we've got to do some work first because, again, quadratic formula can only be used when you have ax squared plus bx plus c. We don't have an x squared yet. In order to get there, we have to FOIL. So we're going to leave the 8 over there for now. So that's another thing, by the way, is that it has to be equal to 0. But we need to FOIL on the left-hand side first. So 9 times 9x times the x would give me 9x squared. 9x times the negative 1 is going to give me negative 9x. 3 times the x is my inner, so I get plus 3x. And then 3 times the negative 1 should give me negative 3. Now, this is equal to negative 8, and you want to be careful here to not leave it equal to negative 8. I want to go ahead and take my 8 and add it over here to my 3. So plus 8, plus 8. Also, I want to combine my like terms in the middle. So this is going to rewrite to be 9x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Now we're ready to do quadratic formula. So I'm going to go ahead and erase and move things up so I have a little more space. And so basically we're starting off now, like the other problems were in the last lesson, where we're just ready to plug in quadratic formula. So I say negative, negative 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared. I'm just going to go ahead and multiply that out to be positive 36 minus 4 times the a is 9 times the c is 5 all over 2 times 9, my a. Okay. So now I just simplify. I multiply my negative 4 times 9 times 5. 180 is what that turns into. So we should rewrite this to be positive 6, so 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 180 over 18. Now, it's going to make a big difference if you lost your negative sign right here. Because I actually need to subtract, and I should get 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 180 and that should give me a negative 144. But if you had a positive 144, you made a big mistake and you'll get the wrong answer. Because our mind, when we lose a negative, we'll see that it, it would look like it's the square root of 144 and we should get 12. But we actually need to pull out an I first. So this negative needs to come out in the form of an I. So really this is I root 144, like this, I root 144. And that I can actually do, and that should turn into a 12i, because the square root of 144 is 12, and the i gets pulled out, so it's 12i. So this problem just turned into 6 plus or minus 12i over 18. And now, this would be the right answer, but I do have a Cool Ranch Dorito problem. In other words, I need to divide the 6, the 12, and the 18 by the greatest common factor, which is 6. So I'm going to erase to give myself some room to do that. So my final answer, 6 divided by 6 should be 1, plus or minus 12 divided by 6 is 2i, over 18 divided by 6 is 3. This is your final answer. 1 plus or minus 2i over 3. Again, you could write it as 1 plus 2i over 3 and 1 minus 2i over 3, but I, I don't know if you can use that symbol in the lab or not. Now we're going to have another example where we have to do a little work before we get to do our quadratic formula. This time I have to distribute my negative 2t into a parenthesis, and I'll have to move my negative 3 that's on the left, the right side over to the left. So this is going to, on the left side, turn into negative 2t squared minus 4t. And then that's equal to negative 3. So I've got to add the 3 over, so I add 3, and that's going to give me negative 2t squared minus 4t plus 3 equals 0. Now that I've got everything on the left-hand side, it's in standard form, I can go ahead and plug it in the quadratic formula. So I got negative 4t, sorry, negative 4, plus or minus the square root of negative 4 squared minus 4 times a, which is negative 2, times 
times c, which is 3, all over 2 times my a is negative 2. Okay? So now we can simplify it from there. This should give me, oh sorry, the first one should have been negative by the way, so positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus would be minus negative 24 because the signs multiply and they change to positive. So we're going to get positive 24 all over negative 4. Okay. Now you just need to add your 16 and your 24 and you should get 40. So we get 4 plus or minus the square root of 40 all over 4. Now we're going to end up doing a Dorito problem, but it's not yet. I have to do my hockey stick on the 40 first and simplify. So over here on the left-hand side, I'll do 40 with a hockey stick. Divided by 2, I get 20. Divide by 2, I get 10. I can divide by 2 again, and I'll get 5, but I can't do anything with it. So I just get one group of 2 that gets pulled out, and left-hand side will be 10. So I can rewrite this to be 4 plus or minus 2 square root of 10 over 4. Okay, and now this is actually a Dorito problem. This time I think we'll go salsa verde and divide them all by a 2. So 4 divided by 2 will give me 2 plus or minus the square root of 10 divided by 2. And this would be your final simplified answer. And now at this point I'd like to point back to when we had this step when it was equal to 0. Notice how we got the negative sign in front here, and there's another one. You can actually go through and change all the signs, and that would make your process of plugging in a little bit sim more simple. So I could have changed this to be a positive 2x, or sorry, 2t squared, a positive 4t, and then a negative 3 equals 0. Because if you change them all on both sides, technically you're changing the 0 also, but changing a 0 doesn't actually change it. Uh, you're good to go. So it could have actually been a lot easier to plug in from the get-go, but uh, it's just one extra, one, one more thing that you could think about to make your problems a little more easy. Now we're going to look at a fraction problem, and at, at, the, out, at the onset this uh, problem looks really complicated, but it's not. Uh, we're going to do something called fraction busting, which means that we've got these fractions that we don't like, and we want to get rid of them. We can get rid of them if we multiply everything by the uh, least common denominator. And the least common den denominator is 2, so I want to multiply everything by 2 on the top, 2 over 1, really. So times 2 over 1, if you will, times 2, okay? And then what happens is, really nicely, the fractions are gone. And you're left with 2 on the right-hand side, equals x squared minus x. No more worries. So I just got rid of my fractions by doing what we call fraction busting. So if you find the least common denominator, which in this case is 2, and multiply everything by that, it gets rid of those fractions. Now it's still set up to do a uh, problem using quadratic formula. I just have to subtract the 2, make it equal to 0, and then I get everything ready to go. So it's going to be negative, negative 1, plus or minus the square root. b squared is going to be 1 minus 4, a is 1, times c is negative 2. All over 2 times a. And so to simplify, I would change the signs here. I get 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 8, which is 9, all over 2. So this is going to turn into 1 plus or minus 3 over 2. So I get my two answers, 1 plus 3 over 2, 1 minus 3 over 2, and that's going to work out to be 4 over 2, which is 2. And 1 minus 3 is negative 2 over 2, which is going to be negative 1. So these will be my two answers.